This is breaking right now. Jurors deciding an accused killer's fate. This is the six. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Blair Miller. Hannah Payne is charged in a Clayton County man's murder. Investigators say she followed, shot, and killed Kenneth Herring after a crash in 2019. Payne says the shooting happened while she and Herring were tussling with one another. Atlanta News First, Chelsea Bimefor is live tonight outside the Clayton County Courthouse. Chelsea, you just heard closing statements from the defense and the prosecutors. They just made those final statements about an hour ago and turned the case over to the jury. Deliberations are going on right now. In the last five minutes, that jury asked the judge if they could see the body camera video and listen to a 911 call again. Here's a look at how everything has unfolded here today. 62-year-old Kenneth Herring, who was unarmed and minding his own business, was chased down, detained, shot and murdered by this defendant. On Tuesday, Clayton County prosecutors made it clear that they think Hannah Payne maliciously shot and killed Kenneth Herring after he left the scene of an accident in 2019. The audacity to come here and take that stand and blame everybody else. Payne is facing eight charges, including aggravated assault, malice, and felony murder. But during closing arguments, Payne's attorney said she is not a killer. This is not some murder. This is a young girl who got caught up in the wrong situation with a good heart and good intention. Payne's attorney argued that the state did not prove whose finger was on the trigger when Payne's gun discharged. The state, however, said it's clear Payne was the only aggressor and she acted with malice when she chased Herring down and pulled out her weapon. You know how much entitlement you have to have to chase somebody down, detain them, jump out your car and run toward a stranger. So again, the jury listening to some of that evidence again at this hour, it's possible they could reach a verdict tonight or this may bleed over into tomorrow. Reporting live in Clayton County, Chelsea Bine for Atlanta News First.